welcome to my youtube channel my name is natalie today's video is about wordpress widgets i present to you my eight free sidebar widgets to add functionality and convenience to your wordpress website without any ranking factor so without any further ado let's begin widgets allows you to add different functionality to your wordpress sidebars and other widget ready areas they provide a wide range of functions helping users to find their way around to share their content and to gain useful information. Here are my 8 free widget plugins you can install on your WordPress website that will improve the flexibility of widgets and sidebars. All links will be at the description box down below. This is not a sponsored video, it only expressing my honest and true opinion. Add the new plugin by going to the plugin tab. Click on the add new to install my number one plugin. In the search box, enter widget options. Click on the install button now. It has over 100,000 active installations. Then click on the same button to activate the plugin. Right out the box, there are tons of features included in the free version, but the premium version is incredibly affordable. If you really want to take control of WordPress sidebars, I highly recommend you check it out. There's one simple interface. You can easily deactivate the widget options you don't need. The settings are easy to understand and to configure. There are over 20 different features of this plugin. 10 are completely free and there are another premium features. Let's walk through each of the free features. Page visibility. With page visibility, you can easily hide WordPress widgets on specific pages. Select which pages, custom post types, categories, taxonomies your widget get displayed on. You can use device restriction feature to show or hide your widgets on specific devices, which is very useful. Just check the box and click save and your responsive sidebar is ready to go. Custom alignment allows you to choose between four different alignments for your widget. You can also choose a different alignment for desktop, tablet and mobile devices if you upgrade to the pro version. You can also control the user login state. You restrict the widget visibility for login and logged out users. If you click on the gear icon, you can add your custom classes and IDs to the widgets. This is a great feature for more advanced users or to anyone using a custom WordPress theme. It allows you to add custom classes or IDs to specific widgets. If you need to implement more advanced display rules, you will use this feature to show or hide widgets based on specific page or post IDs, specific categories or tags, or any combination of rules that you manually determine. There is also advanced custom field support, meaning you can easily show or hide any widgets using your own meta fields and conditions. The second one from my list is this one. One of the most common needs for WordPress site owners is the ability to display different sidebars, depending on which page, host, category, page the user is viewing. Content Aware Sidebar allows you to create as many sidebars as you'd like and use them wherever needed. Some clever features include similar options of the previous plugin, such as to show or hide widgets on any page to replace your theme sidebars on different conditions or insert widget areas with short codes. To add unlimited sidebars and widget areas, there is also a built-in support for some of the most popular WordPress plugins, which means that you can create WooCommerce sidebars for select products or body press sidebars for your members. The support for most WordPress plugins include besides WooCommerce, BB Press, Buddy Press, Easy Digital Downloads, Translate, Pods, Polyland, among others. Some premium features include sticky sidebars and widget areas after paragraphs. You can optimize conversion rates, boost on-site SEO, upsell products and much more. 
The next one, Widget Importer and Exporter, is useful for moving widgets from one WordPress site to another, backing up widgets and, and for team developers to give users sample widgets. Importing is done by uploading an export file created by the plugin. The results of an import are shown in a nicely formatted table with an explanation of what happened with each widget area and widget. Importation takes into consideration widget areas not existing in the current theme, widgets that already exist in the same widget areas, and widgets that are not supported by the site. Exporting, you create an export file in JSON format with an extension created by the plugin. This file can be imported into other sites using this plugin or used to restore widgets to the same site. Next, we have this fantastic cool plugin to add widgets into any post and any page using shortcodes. In other words, we are talking about dynamic widgets, right? How does this work? Just check this out. The first action is to go into the widget area. From there, you must decide which one of these widget areas you want to utilize on a page. For example, let's say I want to use these product categories. Since I have installed the plugin, we have available on the right hand side these widgets for shortcodes box. I grab the product category and I drop it here into my WooCommerce sidebar. Click save. Now let's place it inside my WooCommerce account page. How do I do this? Copy the widget name. Open the WooCommerce page and paste here the shortcode within a shortcode block. You can even rearrange the order by clicking on the up arrow. For me, as I'm using product categories, widget just replace the quotation mark with the widget name. And just like that, here it goes. If you change your theme later, you don't actually lose the sidebar settings. No problem. The plugin will save and restore the widgets for shortcode settings. It's an amazing cool plugin you should try to use. Next one is a 300,000 active installs plugin. The Astro Widget plugin lets you create widgets, add an address, a social profile widget, and a list icons that you can add into your widget areas like the header, the footer, the sidebar on your website. You simply need to select the place you wish to add the widget and then add in the information in the specific meta fields. Let's say I want to use the social icons widget. Drag and drop to the area you want to use, open up the social widget. You can give it a title name to add a social media channel, just click on the add item button in your social media account. The target page the same or to a new page, a no follow attribute and then choose the icon. You can also rearrange the position, delete and duplicate the items. Also, you can set up the space between the list items and between icon and text in pixels. I think this plugin could also include by using other responsive units like the percentage rams or rams as these are responsive modern units. Anyway, you decide on whether you want to show or hide the divider, its color and the icon size. I should state here I experienced some difficulties in changing the icon colors. Eventually it has worked perfectly. The Maps widget for Google Maps makes it easy to add custom maps to your sidebar. Choose from multiple color schemes and mappings to create a unique look. It's a perfect complement to directory listings or to your events pages. Here are some map samples you can insert into your sidebar. This is the default map. This map can have one pin or more. This is the map where you need to, the user needs to click to, to be activated. This is a map completely adjustable and active map can be loaded immediately. 
By default, WordPress comes pre-installed with a recent post widget. You check this by going into the widget area. Here it is a recent posts widget and you just need to drag and drop into your sidebar, right? But if you want to display your recent posts with thumbnails, well, you need to install and activate the plugin recent posts widget with thumbnails. You can list your posts with post titles, thumbnails, excerpts, authors and categories and more in a single free plugin plugin so navigate to your widget area and find the recent posts with thumbnails then you control the number of the recent posts with thumbnails you also control if you want to hide or show your sticky posts if you desire to not show the post title by checking the box and also control as well the maximum length of the post title and filter the posts by categories or not under the thumbnail settings you control the visibility of the thumbnail and its size which is an amazing setting this is such an amazing plugin you can explore to boost your website and to create a visually appealing list of posts based on various criteria. Instead of the old-fashioned vertical or horizontal display, WordPress Tab Widget provides a clean tabbed navigation via Ajax. You can choose from popular, recent, common or tag widgets. The content is loaded on demand and so it won't slow down your site. As an example, let's add a new tab system to my WooCommerce sidebar. Drag and drop to the exact location. Inside there, you can customize Customize the way you want to display by popular, recent, and more. Under the tab order, you also customize the number of tabs in a couple of clicks. In the advanced options, you determine the pagination settings and to show the post thumbnails and its size and more versatile options. At the front end, this is how it looks like to the customers. A very powerful plugin you really can use to add to your WooCommerce sidebar. There you go. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel or hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section what are your favorite sidebar widgets. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.